Hey everyone, um, I'm John, Jim and my dad, Mark. We are uh, uh, John Cricket Sox. And, uh, and, and, and I will mention the Spring Happiness. What's the name of this show? This show is Spring Happiness Show. The Spreading Happiness Show. You're ready to spread some happiness? Yes. Yeah, Bring a little joy. Yes. Yeah, joy started. to the world. Yes. Yeah, get started. <laughs> Just getting started? Yes, yeah, Dad. You're ready to be charming tonight? Yes, I am. You, your usual charming self? Yes. We're home here in our apartment, you know, paintings in the back. Ground books all around. I, I I I really love what my bed. Your bed. You like sleeping in your bed. Um, I still cover me. And there's all that liquor back there too. Are you drinking that liquor? I wish. You wish? Huh? No. I'm probably mom. Uh, well, it's not me. It's probably, not you. Yeah, probably mom drinking. <laughs> you know why? Maybe we drive her to drink. <laughs> I hope I'm not going to watch that. You think that could be it? Okay. So, um, it's been a busy couple weeks. It's uh, Here yes. we are already. It's July 7th. We're into July already. Yes. Wow. Lots going on, too, right? You had a good weekend last weekend? I had a good weekend. We were busy. We had lots of things happening. Um it's a Friday night. What we do? A Friday, uh, we went out to a nice dinner uh, with uh, with uh, with my dad's buddy, uh, 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 Joe Edgerton. Joe uh, Lacano. Yep. Right. Uh, who is many things. He's a father. And he's a husband. He's a hospital executive. He's doing great things there, building buildings, and he's also a Hall of Fame painter. He is. <laughs> And he's a bad influence on you. Because <laughs> the two of you guys get in trouble. And who winds up really paying the price? You. Yeah. Me. <laughs> Poking me, bugging me, right? Yeah. <laughs> and we ate at kind of an interesting place. It was a, uh, what they call it, a Brazilian uh, steakhouse uh, or an uh, Argentine uh, steakhouse? Uh, no. Brazilian? Uh, uh, it's Brazilian. It's a Vasco de Chaya. Taro, right? And and one of the things they do is, you know, they have a big, they, they call it the marketplace. Uh, when I was growing up, they would have called it the salad bar. That was pretty good. And then they have these waiters and, and servers that walk around carrying meat and serving you meat at the table. Did you like that? I, I did. They'd come around and say, oh, you want a little flank steak? You want a little sirloin steak? You want a little chicken wrapped in bacon? Oh, yeah. You were eating a lot, huh? I did. They just kept bringing it. It was kind of like dim sum for carnivores. You liked it? I did. And it's always fun hanging with Joe and Susan, right? I love it. They got a lot going on, too. They sold their house. They're building a new house, having fun. Right. Joe's got his boat in the water. He's taking your brother Jamie fishing this week. It's, it's tomorrow. They're going out for tuna. Yeah. We'll see how that goes. Tomorrow, tomorrow. Love you tomorrow, the sun, the day, and cray, lonely, and good and sin, you know what? and cray. Being around you, it's like living in a donna ist musical. All of a sudden, you break into song. <laughs> it may not have anything to do with anything, but you break into song. Yes. <laughs> and let's see, Saturday, we went our separate ways. We both went on dates. Yes, we did. I took your mom on a date. You took the girlfriend on a date. I did. What'd you do? I I took her to a, a nice dinner at Sapsuckers. Sapsuckers, one of our favorite local restaurants. It's, it's you were moving place. uptown, huh? I did. Oh, spending a lot of money on the date. Oh, boy. <laughs> <laughs> but they treated you well? Yes. You treated them well? I did. Your mom and I, we went out to a concert. We went to hear John Hyatt. Uh, John High has been making great music for a long time, uh, like a lot of his music. Music, Memphis in the meantime, right? right. Riding with the King, Crossing Muddy Waters, um, what's the song with the kids? The kids in the back seat, banging like Charlie Watts. Charlie Watts played drums for the Stones. That was fun. Then Sunday, we took our chances again. We 
got in the car and where'd we go on Sunday? And the Met. The Met game. So this is our fourth game of the year and we were 0 for 3 and we were thinking of telling John, you can't come anymore. You could be bad luck. Oh my God. But the Mets won. Yes. The Mets won. They were the first team in the National League to 50 wins. They, you know, their lead is shrunk, but they're going in today. Uh, they're still up two and a half games on the Braves. Let's go Mets. Yeah, the Mets. Let's go Mets. Um, that's all good stuff. Yeah. So we had that going on. Um, what else? Let's see. We've made arrangements. We, we met with the folks from the Spirit of Huntington um, Art Center. Yeah, we did. And they, it's a really great place, and they provide art training and opportunities for people with different abilities to show their artwork. We're going to do some things with them. I think we'll have an art night there. Yeah, I really do think. So. And you might take an art workshop with them. You think? Yeah. And we're going to see if they can help design some stuff for us. Um, and in October, we're going to have a fashion show. I so excited. In the mall, uh, where all the models will have different abilities. And uh, we may see if we can show their artwork, too. Because we want to show a different face of beauty. A different side. Let, let's, let's expand our definitions of, of what's truly beautiful, right? Right. That sounds good. So uh, that was a lot going on. We've been doing our podcast. What's the name of our podcast? The Spreading Happiness Podcast. You like doing that? Yeah. We work with George Andriopoulos, who produces it, does a great job. We go over to his studio. Yes. You get all excited. You like that intro music? I do. And if people want to hear the podcast, where can they find it? I can find it at johnscrazysocks.com. You can go down there to johnscrazysocks.com, but also you can find it on any platform, any of the uh, the normal podcast platforms, right? Yes, sir which is good. Um, so we've been doing that. Plus, we've been doing a lot of podcast interviews. Yeah. We did one today with uh, Life's Essential Ingredients, which is the name of the podcast, with Jeff and Mike. Did you like that one? I do. There were some soulful guys from California. Uh, pizzas. They were talking a lot about pizza. What type of pizza do you really like? A buffalo chicken and a barbecue chicken. Uh, uh, a buffalo chicken, barbecue chicken. Oh, wait a second. And, and Which is it? Do you want the barbecue chicken on your pizza or the buffalo chicken? Both. Both. Both on one on one pizza. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A uh, bacon. You want bacon on. A it. pineapple. Pineapple on it. You're just piling stuff uh, on. A shrimp. A shrimp, all on one pizza. Yeah. <laughs> and it's cardiologist approved. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Uh, Lordy, huh? And pizza. And pizza? No, pizza, uh, the cream. Peso. Oh, peso. Pe pesto. Pesto. Why do you have different ones? Why do you have a shrimp slice and a barbecue slice and a pesto and a pesto slice? You want it all together. Oh, yeah. It's all going into one belly, huh? Oh, yeah. Well, <laughs> it. well we've had a lot of food around right? yesterday. Uh, yes, it was a good day. We did our mid-year management meeting. Yes, Dad. And when we got together, you know, where are we at? What's working? What's not? And we followed that up with the company barbecue. Barbecue. Did you like the barbecue? I, I do. I love barbecue. So your mom and Louis, they coordinated the cooking of the barbecue. And my mom makes the best barbecue. Oh, she's a good cook, right? Uh, I eat a lot of her food. I used to weigh 175 pounds before I met your mom. <laughs> <laughs> and then, but, but boy, we had a lot of food. Oh we had 20 God. some odd people around, and uh, they made food for about 500 people. <laughs> uh, hey, I see Deanne is out there. She likes your uh, friendship. Thank you. I love friends. You're a big fan of friends. We surprised John one day and took him to the Friends Experience. You liked that, didn't you? I do. You just have to keep telling them that Joey is not a role model. <laughs> How you do it? How you do it? <laughs> ah, this is good stuff, buddy, huh? Um, let's see. And this weekend. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. I I have to say something. Go ahead. I'm, I I can't help it. My head. Your head. I'm thinking of Phoebe. 
Phoebe. What about Phoebe? That cookie. Go ahead. Tell tell the Phoebe cooking story. That that I I wonder if that scene the cookie from the um Mexi to toe. Well, right. She was trying to find her grandmother's recipe. Right? Yeah. Couldn't find it, and Monica is going crazy trying to figure it out, making all these different cookies. And then Phoebe says, <laughs> "Well, she remembered something. What did she remember?" I think it. <laughs> it's something like uh, the recipe was uh, the Nestle, uh, the Tola House. You know, like same with the French accent. Yeah. It's like you mean Toll House chocolate chip cookies? That's the recipe. <laughs> Well, we're laughing. I don't know if anybody else is laughing. Right? You're recounting a TV show. Yes, me to tell. John has trouble sometimes differentiating between TV and real life. Because much of the time you're living a fantasy, aren't you? Yes, <laughs> Dad, I, I'm living my head. Yeah. Okay, well, this, uh, let's see. This weekend might be a little low key. You're going out with some friends on Saturday. I did. I'm thinking of taking on my Monday. mom out Monday. The first one. Oh, this past Monday you went out to a friend's party for Fourth of July. I was talking about this upcoming weekend. Oh. It's Thursday night. You know, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Oh uh, yeah. Right. Uh, I think maybe I'll go for a hike on Sunday. I might take your mom out. Maybe we'll go to the theater on Saturday. Yeah. And I, you're going out with friends? I go with my friends. Okay. And that's because we, after that, we start traveling a lot. Yeah. We're going to Hartford, going to see John Flynn. Yeah. Going to hear Robert Earl Keane in, in concert. I get to a hotel. You'll stay in a hotel. We don't have tickets for you. Originally, you weren't coming. Do you mind staying in a hotel? Yeah. I like it. You like it. You're going to, you just went to the back and I order room service. Uh, can I? Well, I don't think they're going to have it at the Motel 6. <laughs> But the law says I have to feed you, son. Yes, Dad. <laughs> and then we're going on to Boston. Boston. What are we doing in Boston? Because I'm going to do as a, a, a really interesting Friday morning. I'm going to do a, a study at, at the Massachusetts Mass General, General Hospital. Hospital. Um, What's it a study for? A study for uh, a DSR life. Right. Uh, uh, that is uh, connected with a new mine. Right, um, they're the sponsors of it. sponsor it, and, um, and it's really neat. Right, they're, it's a study looking at people with Down syndrome and trying to measure or or anticipate development of Alzheimer's. So John is enrolling as a subject, still doing physical exams, medical exams, yeah. interviews with you, interviews with us. This is a very good thing you're doing. I'm really excited. And then we're going to have lunch with... Uh, Campus, who's the head of uh, Lumines. Yes. That's very nice. We're going to encourage other people to participate in studies like that. That's a good thing you're doing. Yes, and we'll have the weekend in Boston. I'm so excited. And then let's say we come home, we go to Ohio for a special surprise speaking engagement. Oh, I.O. Oh, I.O. Oh, So we're flying into Detroit and then driving Ohio. Uh, can't say much about it because our hosts want it to be a surprise. That'll be fun. And we come home and then we go to Cape Cod again. We go up to Massachusetts again. Cape Cod. We're going to Cape Cod. We're going to see Paul and Ed. Yeah. Um, uh, this weekend. Yeah. It's been going Sunday. Yeah. It's Spencer's birthday. Whose birthday? Annie. It's Annie's birthday. Okay. Thank uh, you for telling me that. Uh, can we um, uh, bring up that gift? We'll bring her a gift when we come up. Uh, sure. Are uh, 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 we go up there? Yeah, that's a good idea. I have to get something nice. Okay, you want to get something nice? Are there friends that you want to get something that's not nice for them? <laughs> yeah. Melody wants to know where in Ohio. Uh, we're going to a town called Perrysburg outside of, uh, which is near Toledo. I, I can we go? Toledo, Ohio. Holy Toledo! What is this in Toledo? Well, here's an old TV reference the Toledo Mudcats. That's who Corporal Klinger is. Oh, yes. Yeah. I'm, 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 I'm related with that mm -hmm. because I've been funny. What's very funny? I want a lot of shows I ever watched. Yeah? What I have to say that. Right? I was a, a full house, full house. Oh, jeez. 
my favorite one, yeah. Kimmy. They're working in the house. Hey, hey, tennis windows. I don't get it. No, I, no, I see you into the house. Into the house. It, it said, hey, uh, tennis windows. Tennis to windows? No, uh, no, 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 that's the name, Tanner. Oh, Tanner. Tanner the Reddles. Oh, that's the name of the people who live there. It's kind of like you every time we walk in the apartment saying, Honey, I'm home. Yeah. Even when nobody's here. Yeah, I, I, I came and walk in, it says, Hey, hey, Tanner the Reddles. I get it. I get it. So, uh, let's see. Do you have any of your jokes to tell today? I do. Oh, let's hear these jokes. A favorite. Oh, I'm sure they're hilarious. Oh, what do you call a computer cover, cover in fruit chunks? What do you call chunks. a computer covered in fruit chunks? I don't know, what? A, a pineapple mac, mac. A pineapple mac. Oh, okay, okay. What do you they call a pineapple upside down? cake in Australia. What do you call a pineapple upside down cake in Australia? What? A, a pineapple cake. Because it's down in the southern hemisphere? Yeah. <laughs> oh, <geez>. <laughs> so I got some baseball ones for you. Uh, Ted and Steve were good friends and were getting up there in years and both big baseball fans. He used to play baseball. Right. And they were big fans, and they, they played in an over 60 league. And they made they reached a pack. They were debating one day, like, do you think there's baseball in heaven? And uh, they reached an agreement. They said, look, if one of us goes before the other, yes. you got to come back and tell us whether or not there's baseball in heaven. So unfortunately, Ted passed away. And uh, Steve was very sad about Ted passing away. But sometime later, Ted appeared to him. Steve was sitting on a bench, and there's Ted right next to him. And Ted is so happy to see his friend. He said, look, I'm only here to tell you, yes, you know, I, I'm only here to tell you about baseball in heaven. He says, there's baseball in heaven? He says, uh, well, I got good news and I got bad news. Ted says, quick, tell me, what's the, what's the news? He says, give me the good news first. And Ted says, well, there is baseball in heaven. Well, what's the bad news? Hey, you're pitching next Tuesday. <laughs> oh, I kind of mangled that along the way. <laughs> you're an appreciative audience, huh? <laughs> oh, Lord. Uh, so even though we got some time, you're doing uh, your dance party still? Yeah, every Tuesday at 3 p.m. Uh, we put a link down below if you want to join us in that dance party. Um, you got anything else going on? Um, yes, I do. What? I love you. I love you too, buddy. You've been doing writing your songs, or you sort of yeah, singing? Yeah, I, I write a song. It, it, I, it, I, uh, I work on that. You're working on it. And what are you da now doing, right? You used to, John would write these uh, paragraphs and yes, come to me and say, I have no more for that. This is a song. And, I, and I'd look at it, it was kind of like, James Joyce's Finnegan's Wake. It was it was it was dense and it was just all these run on words. But now you're writing lines and you're breaking it into two parts. What are the parts? A verse and chorus. The verse and the chorus. You like doing that? I do. Right? You're making big strides on that. On learning how to write uh, and songs. I, I can't no more. Yeah, go ahead. I I can't no no more. Uh, oh, you have to keep learning. Who who's my favorite songwriter? Leonard Cohen. Well, I like Leonard Cohen a lot, but I would say Bob Dylan, right? Yes. Bob Dylan is 81. He's I still see. learning how to write songs. His, his songwriting keeps getting better. Imagine that. Uh, I, um, I, I, I want to make sure, okay? Mm -hmm. I know it's different live. Go ahead, but? But uh, do you guys up to... You want to look at the camera? I, I, you guys are up to uh, listen to my... My song. Go ahead, let's hear your song. I, I wrote it down. <laughs> oh, is this the Christmas song? Yes. Oh, I got it too. I, I, 
I got it. Go ahead, sing. Hey, Starman, I beg for Holly, Charlie, come you to town, get a baby. Hey, hey, yeah, hey, yeah, yeah. Hey, Santa, are you ready for Christmas? Let's sing. Ba la la, ba la la la. Hey, come with Santa and the ear. It's a perfect snowbird to sing and sing a bell of the way. Hey, 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 hey. Hey Santa, are you ready for Christmas? Let's sing. Ba la 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 la. Hey, come and stand your reindeer. One second. Every year. <laughs> oh, wait. Come you on. want me to hold this? Sure, I'll hold this for you. I'm going to clap. Every year, I'll offer the memories a fairy canary. Christmas time was a year, singing a lot by Betty to oh, 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 oh. Hey Santa, are you ready for Christmas? Let's sing. Fa la 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 Hey, come on Santa, lady. <laughs> well, son, I will tell you this. You have a unique songwriting ability. Yeah. And it was really important to stop and do the claps? Yeah. Okay. I'm doing the clap because I want to be like more energy. More energy. Okay. Very good. We had a lot of music stuff going on, huh? Yeah. I got a music project going on too. Do you, you know what it is? Yeah, I do. What is it? Uh, Bob Dylan. Uh, uh, Bob Dylan. Bob Dylan song. Bob Dylan song of the day. I'm sending out an email every day. I decided to do this. I didn't quite realize what I was biting off here. But every day I send out to an email list um, a new Bob Dylan song. So it's random. It's not going in order. There's no theme to it. It's just whatever strikes my mood that day. And Lordy John, today I'm going to send out for the 44th consecutive day. Every day I'm writing and share these songs to a list. If, you, if you're interested, I'll be glad to add you the list. Just got to send me your email address and you can get your Bob Dylan song of the day. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to try to get my um, on song lessons. Yeah, and you, you're going to take some songwriting lessons? Yeah, songwriting lessons. I think lessons. that's very cool. All righty, folks. Well, we hope you've had a good week. Hope you're going to have a good weekend and that... Uh, this is spreading a little happiness with you. Uh, a couple of things that you know, we still have our sock design contest going on. Yes. Which is very cool. We hope you can come and enter it. Um, let's see. Uh, if you enter and you win, the winner gets $1,000. Plus, we'll make you socks and give you a whole bunch of them. Uh, so we're going to make you sock famous. And we're going to turn those socks into uh, some of our charity socks. So when we sell them, we'll raise money for a charity, and you'll help us pick out the charity. You don't have to be a graphic artist or a sock designer. None of uh, our previous winners have done that, have been that. It, you know, they've just sent us some neat designs. So uh, think about it. And where can they find the sock design contest? I, 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 I at johnscrazysocks.com. johnscrazysocks.com. All right. Well, I hope you had a good week. Hope yes, you can have a great I, weekend. I hope you have a wonderful day. Uh, and you folks take care. Take care. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Oh, wait a second. We can't sign off. We haven't straight a load anybody here. I'm sorry. We're rushing along here. April is sending her love. Hi, April. Uh, Sandy D is saying hello. Hi, Sandy. Uh, Danielle loves you breaking up the song. Loves that, huh? Thank you. Uh, Deanna, we told you, likes your uh, your uh, friend's T-shirt. Carmen likes happy. the idea of the podcast. What's the name of the podcast? The Spreading Happiness Podcast. Spreading Happiness Podcast. Uh, Shannon says, my kiddos and I have several crazy socks. We love them. Um, and ordering more, thank you very much, Shannon. I mean, here's what happens. When you order from us, you help us employ people with different abilities. You help us give back. Most of all, you help us spread happiness. And, yeah, I should do well. Uh, Melody wants to know, do we have friend socks? I, I, yeah, I think so. We do. Um, oh, Danielle wants to know if you want to sing Smelly Cat. 
Oh, I'd love to come to the cast. Amy, what's what we've had for dinner? No dinner yet. Um, Melody, well, we told you we're in Ohio. We're going to Perrysburg. Doug King is out there. Yankee fan amongst us. But he is a Jet fan. And the Jets are winning the offseason. Amy, what's on any vacations? We haven't planned one yet. Um, we are doing a lot of traveling, all right? We're going to Cape Cod a couple of times. Yeah. We're going to North Dakota. We're thinking of driving on a bay, taking a week to drive from North Dakota to our next speaking engagement in Texas. We'll have to see about that, right? Yeah, I, 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 maybe I might go to New Orleans for that time. Uh, at some point in the future, Doug King remembers the Toledo Mud Hens. Um, Mary Ellen is saying hello. Hello. Hey, Amy's birthday is July 18th. That's not far away. Happy birthday. Happy, Happy birthday. early birthday, Amy. Um, uh, Joanne says, listen, what we do, she sound, feels tired. You get tired? No. Yeah. Yeah, you sleep nights? I sleep nights. You're not exactly a morning person. No, I'm not. No, 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 no. Uh, Melody is saying hello. Blake is out there. Hey, Blake. Hi, Blake. Um, uh, Jean, uh, Jen M McCandless Stout, is that the, hey guys, how are you, Jen? Hello. Uh, Jenna loves your t-shirt, Tom. That t-shirt's you got a lot of fans there. All right, now we can go. Now we've appropriately said hello to everybody out there. So you guys take care. Have a wonderful weekend, and we'll see you next Thursday night. I'll see you next Thursday night. Bye. Bye.